Hi hey, y'all, let's take a look at proportions with fractions and uh, yeah, this isn't really a big deal. Uh, first off, let's review. Do you know how to do this one? What's the method? You just cross multiply, right? So you got 8 times x is 8x. 7 times 5 is 35. You divide by 8 for both sides and x is 35 over 8. There you go. No big whoop. Okay. What we're going to do today is, uh, by the way, do you know how to multiply, let's say, 2 fifths times 3 sevenths? Yes. Okay. We're going to do this and we're going to do this. We're going to combine them and that's it. That's all today. So let's take a look. Um, first off, real quickly, to, to do this, what do we do to both sides? You multiply by 5 halves, right? Okay, just making sure you remember that. All right, well, this is uh, our new type of problem here. So go ahead and copy it down and pause it. Okay, basically, this is exactly the same thing as this, except for instead of a, an integer, like a 7 and an 8 and a 5, you're going to have, you know, a fraction here, a fraction there, and a fraction here. But it doesn't matter. You do exactly the same thing you always did. There's no difference, except for you're multiplying fractions, which you know how to do. So it's the same thing you cross multiply. So this is the part right here. That's this part. And then there's that. And then there's this fraction instead of, you know, the 7 or the 8 or the 5 or whatever. So let's go ahead and cross multiply. So 5 eighths times x is, you will not be surprised to learn, 5 eighths x. Okay. Uh, 2 thirds times 1 fifth. I think we can all do that pretty well. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 5 is 15. There you go. Only one thing left to do, right? You multiply by the reciprocals. 8 fifths, you know that, 8 fifths, and that's always of course x, and 2 times 8 is, well, wait, can I cancel here? Nope. 2 times 8 is 16, 15 times 5 is 75, there you go. No big deal. So, okay, that's it. All right, let's try another one. Same thing, pause and copy. You know, and again, it's just, there's no difference. This is we're just doing fractions. There are the three fractions. I, I go ahead and make sure my, my X is on the left is to kind of, so you're, you know, reading left to right. So two fifths times X, two fifths X. A third times three fourths. Let's just do that across. Uh, three times one is three. Three times four is 12. So three twelfths. Of course, you can cancel the threes if you want. Three over 12 is one fourth. Okay, uh, you know, we don't need to bother to, to write five over two every time now, right? We can just go ahead and just write, we're gonna multiply by the reciprocal, which cancels that out. So I think there's no, uh, there's not any, uh, what do you call it, uh, canceling we do. So that's five on top, eight on the bottom, and there you go, dollar is to it. Okay, all right, on page 190, give those a whirl. Try A first and then pause it and come on back. Okay. Well, let's do it. 3 halves times x equals a fourth times a fifth. That's a 20th. So multiply both sides by 2 thirds. And that goes away. And then 2 over 20, that's 1 over 10. So x is 1 on top and then 30. There we go. That's it. OK. All right, let's try b. Pause it and try b. All right, we have one sixth on top times y, and then two thirds times a fifth, so that's gonna be two on top, and then let's see, five on the bottom, and then we're gonna multiply by six over one, so that gets rid of that, and that'll be six over one, so now we have a, a six and a 15, three go into both of those, that goes five times, and it goes two times, so y is equal to four, this. There we go. All right. Pause it and try C. Okay. Well, this is just going to be 2 over X. And make sure I have that correctly on there. Yes, I do. Okay. So a half times X is a half X. Uh, 2 times 1 eighth is just, in other words, 2 over 1 times 1 over 8. That's going to be 2 over 8, which is going to be the same thing as 1 fourth. So we just have to multiply this by 2 over 1. And that'll be, of course, 2 over 4, which is just a half again. So there we go. C is 1 half. All right, last one. Pause it and try these. See what you get. Okie doke. And that'll be 1 fifth times x. That equals 1 third times 7. That'll be 1 over 3 times 7 over 1, which is 7 over 3. And to undo the 1 fifth, you just multiply by 5 over 1. 
And there we go. X is equal to 35 divided by 3, not 11 and 2 thirds or whatever that is. Okay. All right. That was a short lesson. See you guys next time. Take care.